So I got a couple of questions about the shellac finish and one of them was what is the shelf life of shellac and to be honest with you I don't know. I do know when it goes bad though because when you sand it it doesn't powder up it gums up the sandpaper and so if your shellac is gumming up the sandpaper it's no good. And for that reason when I mix my shellac I always mix it in small amounts and that way I generally will run out of it before it goes bad. Um, another question was if you're shellacking to seal the wood when you wax it does the wax go through the shellac and uh, probably not I guess it really depends on how thick you put the shellac on but the reason why I'm using a wax or some kind of a buffing paste is to even the finish out you'll notice when you finish something whether you use a white bond poly or a lacquer or a shellac that the feel of the whatever it is you're finishing has kind of a, a tooth to it, a roughness to it. And in some cases you might see um, a glare or maybe an overlap in the finish. And when you rub the finish out with a wax or a buffing paste, it sort of blends everything together and gives whatever you're working on a much nicer feel. A couple of people were wondering if you could dissolve the shellac flakes in something other than denatured alcohol and not that I know of. That's all I've ever used so um, maybe but I really don't know. Uh, and in some cases some people just can't get denatured alcohol in the country that they live in and so if that's the case you might want to just try an alternative finish and with that in mind I finished another frame using Minwax's Wipe on Poly and it, it kind of is a similar finish in the way it's applied. It doesn't dry as fast, but um, it's nice that you can, it's, a, it's kind of a thinner finish, and you can blend the finish in with a rag. So what I did is float the finish over the entire frame, and then wiped off the excess with a rag. And I did that twice, sanding in between coats. And I think it's a really nice finish, so that, that could be a good alternative. And I should mention that Unlike with the shellac finish where I saved the applicator and I'll continue to use that, you can't do that with the wipe on poly. Any oily rags you want to get rid of. It's, it's really unsafe to have oil filled rags in your shop because they're uh, highly combustible. Uh, in fact, uh, I guess they can spontaneously combust. So whether you're using a wipe on poly or an oil based stain, some people suggest that you should take those rags and submerge them in a bucket of water. I don't go that far. What I do is I'll drape those rags over something outside, let them air dry, and then I'll throw them away. So just make sure that you don't keep any oil-filled rags in your shop. I did take some footage of finishing this frame with the wipe-on poly. I'm going to run that, and then I'll see you on Friday.